So as a full-time reseller and content creator, I receive a lot of questions. And one of the most popular questions that I receive from newer resellers is, what kinds of items should I be selling? Well, recently I received a question from a newer reseller and subscriber who asked me, what is the best categories of items that I should be selling and what kind of categories should I be staying away from? And I thought that was a very good question that need answering. Hi everyone, my name is Roy and welcome to RK Treasure Center. In today's video, I'm going to go over the kinds of categories and items of the things that I sell. And hopefully by the time you get finished with this video, you'll have a good, better, broad prospect of what kind of items that you could sell to turn around and make a profit. So let's get started. So I went out to get my hair cut and when I was coming back, I ran into a house that was emptying out a shed. They were getting ready to have a garage sale. Actually, the garage sale is not for a couple days, but they were going ahead and pulling stuff out. So I thought I'd make a quick stop. I didn't have the camera with me, so you don't have any footage of that. But I did pull and find some items there that they were willing to give away for pretty good price, I felt. And this is what it is. I bought a ton of records along with five cases of cassette tapes briefcases with cassette tapes and i figure well i'll go through these if there's nothing too spectacular i'll just sell them in big lots and get rid of them but i got all the records and the cassettes along with one other item and that's this item right over here and this is a sears record radio player it's tape phonograph fm am radio and of course it's got the phonograph inside there and it'll, it's even got the 45 or 33 little adapter i forget what it's called so i paid 50 dollars for the records 40 dollars for all the cassettes and 20 dollars for that so i guess 110 dollars is what i spent and there is a lot of records and some of them are really bad there's heart so there's some rock and roll looks like a lot of country and western and all kinds of things like that there's the mamas and the papas so they got some 60s in there eddie rabbit you know that's uh, probably 70s so you got a lot of there's a lot of records in there country music barber mandrill and barry manilow and the speakers that go with the stereo so i think i did pretty good like i said it's gonna be a lot to go through a lot to just when i have a little extra time a little extra time that i can go through and kind of go see it through and see what i got yeah so that's all the stuff that i picked up now let's get back to the video so there was an item that i sold last week and i had two of them and now i sold the second one and i thought that was a really really good thing this was a wonderful find picked these up at a thrift shop now this is the second one so it's the last one this is that athletic screen bowl container it comes with a bamboo top and a really good seal on it and that's all it is it's just a container but it's by athletic screens is to put athletic green supplements in and this sold for $22 plus shipping really really good find i paid $1.99 a piece for them and if you find these they're called athletic screens they sell for big money so one thing that sells all year around is actually christmas items christmas items sell all year around without a problem now of course when it hits the end of the year they're going to sell a little bit better but people love vintage and antique christmas stuff this here is a glass tree topper and glass tree toppers sell really good especially when they're old vintage made of mercury glass or hand blown they're going to make some good money and you can find that kind of stuff everywhere garage sales yard sales things like for inexpensive price i pick these up for 25 50 cents a dollar all year long and sell them all year this one sold for 24 dollars plus shipping and it's one that i paid 50 cents for Another really good item or category to sell are books. I sell books quite frequently. I usually don't go pick a bunch up, but when I find certain ones, I'll pick them up and they'll sell, especially if they're how-to or instructional informational type books. They'll sell really good. But as you can see, this is a how-to book. This is a My eBay for Seniors, and this book sold for $6 plus shipping. It will go out media mail, which will only cost me about $2.50 to $3 to mail out, and I picked it up for 25 cents at the bookstore. Another good category of items to sell is media. Media will sell really good. VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, cassette, they all sell really, really good. If you can find old genre of horror movies for VHS, they sell excellent. If you can find audiobooks, complete series, complete seasons of VHS or CDs, they will generally sell really good. Blu-ray stuff sells really good. But one thing I like to sell are blank VHS tapes and blank cassette tapes. Blank cassette tapes and blank VHS tapes still sell and make good money. 
I, whenever I find them, I pay pennies on the dollar. I generally can find these in huge lots and I can usually buy a box of them at a garage sale for like $3 or something like that. And if it's any other place, usually you can find blank cassettes for 25, 50 cents. You can lot them together. They make some good money. These are some Maxwell UR90s and these sold for $13. Again, blank cassettes. I bought a whole bunch, a big box of them. I paid $5 for them. I bet I've made over $250 just on those blank cassettes. Hey, Kimmy, I see you're going through all the records. <laughs> That's exactly what I was coming in here for. Hey, we got all these records and Kim's been listing them. Tell us about them. Um, yes, I went from shirts to records and I love this job. I can't believe it. I love the history and finding out about the the artist and the album covers, especially if they're vintage. Anyway, we just sold the Beach Boys um, Endless Summer yeah, that's album. A, that's I just listed it. And that one, I believe I just saw because I was coming in to get it. That one yeah. just sold for ten ninety nine plus shipping. It goes out media mail. Yeah. And so that's a ton of records. Yeah. We got, what, two shelves? Yeah, we have almost 300, I believe, 250 to 300. So what I've been doing is put them in alphabetical order. And then when I post them, I just put a yellow... Um, little and, little marker so yeah. you know which ones are done. Yeah, which are done. So I'm up to the D's. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. And well, they're in really good. I mean, I've only found a couple that wasn't. They've been in storage inside, and a lot of them have the already the plastic sleeve over them. They've been well protected and well taken protected. Care. But it's really interesting. I'm having fun with them. It's good really. job, baby. Yeah. Thanks. So guys, I really just wanted to look and talk about these records again really quick one more time since that's kind of in the theme of today's video. And Kim's done a wonderful job. She's already started alphabetizing them and listing as she's been going. And she's been doing a really great job. And there's some great records. Quite a bunch of country. But there is some rock. There's some old school stuff. See, there's country like Charlie Rich. There's, there's an old gold record award, Rod Stewart. There's Heart. Dreamboat and this is, let's see what's this back here another one this greatest hits the Marshall Tucker band so I mean there's a whole bunch of stuff we saw some Elvis we saw some bunch of different things in there but there's over 300 records that we've counted because we could go and count count off groups of 10 and start going like this and we went and there is definitely over 300 records right here we decided that we're going to head and list them and sell them individually instead of groups and lots except for these down here some of these are some hits and greatest hits and things like that so we've decided to do some of those in bulk lots but with all the records here and two rows of records that go all the way back there we figured even if you said five dollars a record at 300 records that's fifteen hundred dollars and you can see we've already sold some records well over that price today and we're estimating that we're probably even going to get closer to the twenty five hundred dollar mark before all this is said and done except for and i mean again that's at like seven dollars a record but there's some records in here that's probably worth 10 15 20 there might even be a gold mine record in there that could be worth a hundred dollars we don't know yet we haven't gotten to it but i just know that we can without a shadow of a doubt say we're going to make fifteen hundred dollars plus on this record lot. so i'm really pleased with it overall talk about good categories and media I just came back from inside the house. I received an offer on this record right here. I accepted the offer. This is a Patsy Cline record. It's a Deckard record from 1957. Really good condition. This record just sold for $43 plus shipping. And what's really good about selling this record is this one record just paid for the whole lot of records that I bought. So now every other record I sell is all profit so i sold this board game and i've never heard it before this is called dominion and it's by donald vaccarino i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but i never heard it before it's brand new it's sealed it was at the thrift shop for a dollar 99 so i took a gamble since it was sealed and i looked it up and this dominion game sold for $24.99 and this game has a really good ROI a rate return of investment so if you see these pick them up because it's gonna sell and it sold fairly quickly I think I had it listed maybe three weeks all right so right after talking about that other item I just sold this item so I'm just gonna set this right up here and what this is is a Michael Todd purse it sold for 
$11.89. I had it on sale plus shipping. And it's actually right there. I went through my items recently to see what I needed to get rid of. Things that I've been holding on to for a while. And this was it. This is a Michael Todd purse. It's got the little emblem right there. You can see it in the picture right there. That's what it is. $11.89. And see, I did run a pretty good size sale for about four days. A 30% sale. And these are on items that I've had for almost a year. So it was time to blow them out. And that's what I call my sale. The blowout sale. Well, I guess I really did get a good record deal. I just sold two more records. This is john denver poems prayers and promises and this is johnny cash at san quentin and both these records sold to two different buyers and they paid seven dollars and 99 cents a piece for them plus the media mail that they're going to be sent out on records get sent out on media mail and media mail for each one of these records is going to cost about three dollars and fifty cents did i tell you the blank cassette tapes sell very good I just sold another package of five for thirteen dollars in fact this is the last set of five that i have so another good category to sell in is clothing. Clothing sells really good, especially if you find certain types or certain brands. This isn't necessarily about the brand. This is made by Eli Cattleman. But this category of clothing is a Western shirt with pearl snaps. And I've mentioned it in a recent video about the same thing. If you can find Western shirts with these pearl snaps, they sell for really good money. This one sold for $15 plus shipping. And I probably paid a dollar for it. All right, got this tubs of shirts that kim did for me and i'm looking for 21 41 that's camouflage and that's it right there this was a really really good find uh picked this up paid i think two dollars for it this camouflage shirt sold for 35 dollars free shipping and in here i only have a couple items but i sold this this is a neck brace and you can see right there it's a cervical neck brace this sold for $24. One category that's a little bit easy but difficult to sell is collectibles. And it's really good when you're in a niche and you sell that kind of category of stuff all the time. But when you sell a range of stuff, you've got a lot to learn. There are a ton of different collectible items out there. Some of them are some you got to do a little research and they take a while to sell. But some of them will sell themselves and they sell for really good money. One of those items is in this bin right here. So let me grab it real quick. And that's this item right here. This is a little collectible from a company called Homegrown. And it says Homegrown on the bottom. And it looks like a cauliflower. But what it is, is actually a sheep. And these Homegrown items will sell for good money. This one I picked up at a thrift shop. I paid $1.99 for it. This just sold for $19 plus shipping. Here in this bin, I sold this item right here. This is a brass whale door knocker and it sold for $22 plus shipping. I found this at the thrift shop for $1.99 and I knew that nautical themed stuff, brass items like this are going to sell really good and it did. When I went to a garage sale a while back, I picked up a Sony camera, and this is it right here. This comes with its cables, its cord, I just put everything in a bag, and it's inside that case. This little Sony camera I paid $2 for, and it sold for $24. Another good item to sell are blow molds. These plastic Santa Claus blow molds are actually pathway light covers. You can see they go on pathway lights, but plastic blow molds of any kind sell for very good money. I picked up this set of five for $3 at a garage sale, and all five of these just sold for $40 plus shipping. And this is something that Kim picked up and paid like a dollar for it. It's a Woodland Creek water bottle holder, and this sold for $8. Clothing is a great category and a great niche to get into, and a lot of people do it. Clothing is one of the top niches to sell in many online platforms. In fact, I did sell this shirt. This is actually made by Sean Combs, and it's new with tags, and it's a New York 1996 style shirt. This one, like I said, has the tags, and this one sold for $19 plus shipping. And these are another one, a good example of a $1 garage sale find sold another metal sign i've been starting to sell these pretty regularly and this one is i think this one 
This one here is called the Busted Knuckle Garage, Parts and Services and Labor. This sold for $17, and it's a nice metal sign, great for somebody's man cave or garage. Well, another good category to sell in is music. And besides records, cassettes, and CDs, there's also the equipment. But besides the equipment, like radios, stereos, and so forth, there's always the accessories. And one thing I sold that I've been waiting to sell, and I'm glad I did, is this right here. This is a CD holder, and it's actually from Napa Valley. So it's got the little mark on it. This little crate CD holder sold for $21 plus shipping. Oh, and did I mention I only paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale? So what it boils down to is if you're looking for the best category of items to resell or sell online, my answer is there really isn't one specific category, maybe a specific niche, but not a specific category. Just look at this year, for example, the best categories to sell in this year, jewelry and watches, computer tablets, cell phones and accessories, computer games and consoles, clothing, shoes, and accessories, cameras, and photo, health and beauty, music, DVD, and movies, and automotive. And that's a broad range of categories right there because inside all those categories are subcategories. Look at jewelry, for example. You have rings, earrings, bracelets, necklaces, brooches. You have, I mean, there's a ton of things. So that when it comes to categories and their subcategories, there's a ton out there. My best thing to tell you, if you're looking for a certain category to resell in, is maybe work on a specific niche. Maybe you have a hobby. Maybe there's something that you've done. Maybe you used to be an automotive mechanic and you know tools or crafts. Maybe you are a craft person. Maybe you're a sewer. Maybe you just know a lot about everything and do what I do. I look and learn and search and research and figure out all kinds of things to sell. And that's what I do. I'm a general all around seller and I do really good at it. And it has worked wonderful as a full-time job for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up. Also click that subscribe button because it's free and everyone take care, be safe, be kind to one another and have a great day. Bye-bye.